Hey folks, Sylvius here. Got a new color scheme. Uh, I am in Port Hope at the recently released Tarantula Giant Spider Caves um, to task on some giant spiders since I would like to finish that. Yeah. Got uh, 203 to go. So not too bad. That blood is mine, by the way, when I popped down to make sure I was in the right spot before I started the recording, just for the record. Anyway, I hunted here back on... Well, I didn't hunt here, I should say. I explored here back on the test server. So I know what I'm getting myself into, sort of. Uh, but my memory is uh, not quite what it used to be. That's a lie. My memory is still what it used to be. I just didn't bother to encode any of this uh, information into my mind. So I'm not 100% certain exactly how to get to the stairs down, <laughs> is what I'm getting at right now. I think it might be this way. Perfect. Now, if I remember correctly, this floor has pretty much entirely tarantulas on it, but it does have, in one spot by the stairs down, two uh, giant spiders or so. So this is a pretty good spot to task tarantulas. Uh, particularly so if you're a knight and don't need to worry about like running out of supplies. Um, food is a little bit tight here, though, and I'm annoyed that I forgot to buy additional, um, brown mushrooms, so I had to stockpile up on, uh, murdering some elephants before I came down. But, besides that, everything's good. Well, you know, a paladin could do fine here. Thank you. It's just, uh, this place is kind of, like, far enough away from civilization that, uh, You'd want to make sure you got your hands on a decent amount of uh, spears or arrows beforehand. And a low-level paladin that would want to be hunting tarantulas isn't going to have a lot of caring cat for these things. But, it's whatever. You could uh, loot bag spears in, I suppose, or something like that. That sounds horrible, by the way. But it's possible. It's possible. Now, it should be the giant spiders to the right, if I remember. That's not a giant spider. Alright, but I still think the giant spiders were in this room. Or if not in this particular room, further to the right here. Yep, look, there's a giant spider. Oh yeah! Knowing what I'm talking about. That thing that I love to do. Sort of had a difficult time dealing with him. You know, part of me desperately, desperately wants to cure my uh, poison right now. Like, uh, you have no idea how badly I want to cure my poison right now. But I know they're just going to throw down a poison bot or poison whatever just fields they shoot on me sooner or later, so there's no real reason to cure it. I'm just going to get immediately poisoned again anyway. Hey, it's a giant spider. You know what I like about this place? The only other spot I've really fought a lot of giant spiders on has been um, the Forbidden Lands giant spider spawn. Which, while perfectly fine in... Uh, okay. I thought that little bit of spider web there would block the spider from moving. It did not, apparently. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. The uh, Forbidden Lands giant spiders are all fine and dandy. Don't get me wrong. But I like having rooms to maneuver in. And that place is kind of just like narrow hallway left and right. Do 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 do. Oh, knight armor, good. Friend of mine is out um, hunting in the hero fortress right now, Bladed Jake. Woo! And he's doing really good. See, he just looted knight uh, crown legs off of a uh, what was that? A renegade knight. And I'm all excited about Night Armor. To be fair, I don't think Giant Spiders really drop that much uh, of value besides Night Armor. Spider Silks. I suppose. I know Lightning Headbands, but those are only 2.5k. Which is only half the price of the Night Armor, so I suppose that's not really uh, that great in the first place. But whatever. They're dropping a decent amount of gold. Plate armors. 
Yeah. I remember when I used to pick up the plate armors from Ancient Scarabs when I was still tasking those. Whoops. I hate when I do that. Giant spider. Now, see, this is like one of the... I'm a little concerned because I was here on the test server where there was a lot of differences between the test server and this. You know, in the test server, I was a lot faster and it was able to easily outrun the giant spiders. For one. For two, I had a lot more HP. So the giant spiders, uh, in the first place, weren't able to kill me as quickly. For two, or I'm sorry, for three, I had infinite money to just guzzle great spirit potions whenever I needed to. Oh god, look, another night armor. This is kind of cool. Kind of cool. Still not crown armors. My friend, I believe, he hunted there for uh, 43 minutes in the uh, new Hero Fortress, and I think he said he got... Let's scroll up. Two uh, crown armors, four crown helmets, three red pieces of cloth, and one warhammer. So, two knight armors isn't really the same thing, but... Okay, spider silk. Hey, life is good. <laughs> life is good. Now, it'd be funny if I died here. Life would be really good then. Alright. Anyway. Yeah, I kind of didn't want to get two of them on me there. So I'm a little concerned that I'll be uh, stupid and uh, make mistakes based off of my familiarity with this place from the test server. Because, yeah, you know, I also had tons of money. And then on top of everything else, it didn't really matter if I died on the test server. Sure, I lost skills, and that was kind of annoying, but... I didn't really lose EXP, and blessings were free. So it wasn't like there was a ugh, any real difficulty or any real reason to avoid dying. All right. 51 gold coins. Not great. Still, though, I got that nice silk, plus the two knight armors. Woo! On the downside, I have to hand those knight armors off to my, uh, my incredibly slow and my incredibly lacking in carrying capacity sorcerer who was the one that completed the green gin quest. Another steel helmet and a two-handed sword. Jeez. I'm doing pretty good here. That said, uh, I had kind of wanted to make a little bit more progress with the task. Thought I meant to put that diagonally. Whatever. I know uh, one time I almost died fighting a giant spider specifically by doing this, because uh, when I was going across like that, it threw a poison field down and overwrote the uh, the fire field, and I like I didn't realize it that it had happened. <laughs> uh, so I just kept doing my little like boop boop, and then the giant spider just walked across the poison field and started hitting me, and I was confused. Anyways, uh, on a side note, I am thinking about picking up uh, two additional games for my uh, Let's Plays. Although I think my Tibia people basically only watch my Tibia Let's Plays, but whatever. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, <laughs> I do Let's Plays for several other games. Uh, right now, Galactic Civ 3, I, did a fl I started another Flash game, um, then Enchanted Cave 2. What else do I do? Oh, forgot to reload my arrows. Uh, FTL. Minecraft. And... Oh, I know there's another thing. Um, hold on a second. FTL. Alright, give me one second, because it's got to kill me until I remember. Galactic Civ, Flash Games, Exile 3, Minecraft, Tibia, FTL. Alright, there we go. And uh, I was doing Let's Plays for a game called Reseteer, but uh, due to some uh, bugs, or, well, compatibility issues, I should say, with my computer, 
I couldn't get a rest here to play. Oh, look, another one. So yeah, I had to drop Reseteer, which was super obnoxious, because I had to rebuy it in the process, and uh, spent money on that. Money that I don't really have. <clears throat> uh, anyway. So yeah, when I bought Reseteer, it came with like a bundle of uh, other games. Chanitzacil, or Chanelise, or something like that, and uh, Fortune Summoner, I believe the games were called. Uh, so I'm considering starting one of those. And uh, also, I used to play an MMO called uh, DDO, Dungeons & Dragons Online, uh, which was pretty fun, actually. So I'm considering getting back into that, too. I feel like I'm mostly uh, wasting the... Ugh. I definitely should not have just let him hit me there. But I really wanted to pick up that gold from that tarantula as soon as possible. I couldn't wait. Yeah, I feel like I've been wasting the uh, the firewalls. They're useful for like one giant spider, and then that's it. The thunder. I think that's thunder. Losing power would really suck, especially in a place with a bunch of giant spiders. I've mentioned this a couple of times, but I have a battery backup like to my computer, so my computer will uh, continue to run for a little while uh, if I lose power. Although. Um, the battery backup will emit a high-pitched screeching sound and a series of beeps, if that happens, which would be kind of obnoxious. Um, so if I was doing a Let's Play in, like, you know, FTL or something like that, I'd have enough time to be like, well, you know, the battery backup lasts for a decent amount of time in the first place. Uh, I think it's like an hour. So I would definitely have enough time to be like, okay, I gotta wrap this up, I lost power, blah, 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 blah. Even though I could technically continue the Let's Play, the uh, screeching sound, I imagine, would be kind of annoying for anybody who's listening. But that won't work for Tibia, because Tibia also needs an active internet connection, as I'm sure you're aware. The whole MMO aspect of the game. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, if I lost power, I would also lose internet. And then uh, I would be able to just sit here and cry. <laughs> because I'd be able to use my computer and not be able to actually play Tibia, and then I would just get killed. So Tibia is the one game I don't want to be playing during a uh, thunderstorm. And uh, I don't know about the rest of America, but the East Coast gets some kind of crappy storms on the uh, during the summertime. We get a lot of hurricanes and all that jazz. On the other hand, though, we avoid uh, tornadoes, which the central uh, United States gets. So... I don't really know what's better. Tornadoes sound pretty horrible. I'm pretty unlikely to die in a uh, hurricane or a thunderstorm. I mean, I could. Like, it could certainly happen. And it would suck if it did, but... I think I'm probably more likely to die in a tornado than I am uh, anything else. And also, I mean, outside of, like, a kind of crappily, like, designed or, you know, already old and poorly maintained house, a hurricane isn't at least where I'm at. Definitely closer to the coastline, and definitely close, like further south, uh, hurricanes will be a crap storm for people. But where I'm at, a hurricane maybe will rip a few shingles off, maybe break a window or knock down a tree. I'm not looking at anything major on my end. Whereas a tornado would definitely just obliterate my house if it came near it, so. I did not actually mean to cast that. I meant to reload my arrows, but whatever. This place is not bad. Not bad at all. And I like giant spiders. Oh, hey, look, my firewall. Can I lure any giant spiders to use it? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Bad time for a respawn. <laughs> oh, and he hit me anyway. Let's get rid of the tarantula. There we go. Don't haste. Don't, ah, uh, don't hit me either. That's not cool. Oh, look, a giant spider. Oh, man. I saw the little blue flash from the this, this poison spider being summoned. And I was like, I thought it was another uh, a respawn flash. So I was like, oh, that's not good. 
I mean, I definitely could run somewhere else and, uh, you know, throw down a wall or something like that, and I'd be perfectly fine, but still. I like to not have that happen, if possible. Alright, I gotta start throwing these uh, steel helmets on the floor because I can't carry any more of them. Uh, <laughs> and this wall is now useless. Entirely useless. It is kind of funny, though. Well, that was a good little intersection of giant spider fun. Oh, really? Is that all that's here? I thought uh, in a test server this place was a bit bigger. I guess not. Ugh. A lot of fun things going on in that little uh, intersection there, let me tell you. So on a side note, uh, I think I may have mentioned this. You know, okay, so I do Let's Play, like I said already, I do Let's Plays for a lot of different games. Um, and I know that uh, there's not a lot of, like, you know, the people who are watching my, like, Exile 3 Let's Plays might not be watching my Tibia Let's Plays, who might not be watching my FTL Let's Plays, who might not be watching my Breseteer Let's Plays, who might not be watching my ABC Let's Plays. You know, and I, I get that. Um, I try, though, like, when I, you know, I mention stories and things like that, I try not to retell the same story twice. Uh, but it's kind of hard, because <laughs> I'm not sure, like, did I say this in another video? Which video did I say this in? Um, and then I try to avoid saying the things that I think are most interesting in the videos for, like, FTL and stuff like that, because less people watch those. So I want to save, like, the, the good ones for, for Tibia, where I get my most views, but whatever. So, at the risk of repeating myself, on, uh, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm going with my grandmother to help her buy a car. <laughs> it is going to be absolutely amazing of a process, let me tell you. Um, my, my cousin uh, totaled her car, so she's in need of a new one at the moment. Um, which is unfortunate, I suppose. Eh, I did not mean to put this there. Oh, hey, if you would die, that would be kind of cool. Ah, oh, man, another spider stuff. Um. Anyway. So, yeah, he crashed the car and uh, totaled it. So, she needs a new one. So, it's going to be the, the dream team of car buyers, right? It's going to be me who doesn't know anything about cars, and who can't even drive a car. I don't have a license. Um, so, me, my grandmother, who hates anything that has changed in the past 20 years. She's just like, as a matter of course, just hates anything that has changed recently. So she's going to be like, oh, why does the car have this? Can't you bring me back my old horse and buggy that I used to drive to work on? It's going to be a disaster. It's going to be hilarious, but it's going to be a disaster. You know, she hate like, and she hates computers and everything like that. She calls computers and, like, cell phones and video game systems uh, idiot boxes, which kind of irritates me a little bit, but whatever. So... In addition to not understanding anything about computers and just inherently hating computers and anything new, uh, <laughs> she's also hard of hearing. And uh, she does this awesome thing where you'll say something to her. You'll be like, for example, let's say you're talking to me. You'd say like, hey, Sylvius, could you tell me where a good spot to twist? And I'd be like, now I'd go, I'm sorry, what did you just say? And you'd go, could you tell me where a good place to task necromancers is? And I'll go, oh, yeah, sure, I mean, you know, your best spot is Drefia, basically. Um, but, you know, you do have a couple of other options. But Drefia is a good spot. Um, really? Running out of cap now? I'm going to have to start throwing some of these expensive, or these heavier items on the floor. Um, how about arrows, too? Oh, I'm pretty good at arrows. All right. And I haven't used any potions. This is Sylvia-style hunting, just for the record. Using as few potions as possible. 
Anyway, so continuing on. So yeah, uh, I would, you know, I'd, you know, be like, I'm sorry, what did you just say? And you'd repeat yourself. My grandmother will, you'll say something to her, she won't hear you, and then she'll just stare at you and be like, oh, okay. And she'll do nothing to indicate that she didn't uh, hear or understand what was said. So it creates this just horrible, awkward issue where you're never sure if she's hearing you or not. Because if she hears you, she'll look at you and be like, oh, okay. And if she doesn't hear you, she'll look at you and go, oh, okay. So you just, you never know. Anyway. So it's going to be me and her, and then my two uncles. Uncle One is kind of, like, miserable. He sort of knows cars, but he doesn't know a lot about cars, and he's also kind of, like, um, like, ignorant. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, the stereotypical, like, ignorant, white trash kind of person, for lack of a better word. Uh, that's not where I meant about that. Ugh. Well, that was unfortunate. See, so, yeah, he he's the one I said in a previous video about how he was like bad mouthing the cops, uh, <laughs> the cops, um, like landscaping company to the cop, and like just being in general inappropriate in every conceivable way. So that's how he rolls. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be him. Then it's gonna be my other uncle who knows cars, but. He only knows cars that have been, you know, made more than, like, 30 years ago and doesn't know a lot of the newer things. Uh, and, uh, he, um... How am I on task real quick? Hold on a second. Let me check here. Killing in the name of... I wish I could get rid of the ones that are completed. Okay. I've killed about 50 so far. Got a few more to go. Um... For example, so my grandmother's old car, before this uh, latest one got totaled, um, she had an old Oldsmobile. I think, uh, let me check real quick. Hold on. Hold on. I need to, nope, that's not the car. Ah, I'm trying to remember the type of her car was it I can't I don't know what kind of car it was anyway it looked like a like a pimp mobile it was the kind of car that like a pimp in the ghetto would be driving in a movie just like an all around just terrible vehicle um but you know it drove well big big honky tonk thing probably had a huge engine horrible gas mileage uh, and it was uh, like white painted like pure white so it was really old, though, and uh, the doors were rusting out on it. So <laughs> she's like, oh, I need to get the doors fixed. So uh, that uncle I was talking about, he goes, eh, oh, yeah, juke them out. He goes, oh, you know, I know a guy, I can get you some new doors, you know, to fix the rusted ones. So she's like, oh, that's great. So... <laughs> He takes the car, brings it back two days later. It's got new doors on it. Uh, they are unpainted charcoal gray. The whole car is white, but it's got unpainted charcoal, like the uh, this color almost. Like the tibia... I don't want to say background, but whatever this is of tibia. That color gray. Oh, and they don't fit right, so you have to like push them upward when you're trying to shut the door. The motors that control the windows don't work, and the one door, the, the lock, didn't work either. So she had to, like, pay to get the doors resized and fitted onto her car correctly, and then she had to pay to get them painted because they look like monstrosities. The whole process was an embarrassment. So, yeah, it's going to be him. So it's going to be the, the four of us trying to find a car. Oh, and then a used car salesman, too. He's going to be there. So he's going to be trying to push things. Everybody's going to be angry and ignorant. My grandmother's not going to know anything. Nobody else is going to know anything. We're all going to be irritated for various reasons. Nobody's going to want to make a decision. Nobody's capable of, like, you know, being, like, definitively, all right, we need to do this to solve our problems. I tell you, it's going to be a disaster. A hilarious disaster, but it's going to be a disaster. 
Alright, I am going to... Because I'm running out of cap, and that fact irritates me quite a bit. I am going to finish my little circuit here. Uh, and just continue throwing things on the floor. Um, and then I'm going to head back to the spot up to... Ah, oh, I just wasted an arrow on a poison spider. Ah, oh, I just got bit by a giant spider. 16 gold. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll head back to the stairs. So my circuit's going to be until I get back to the stairs. And then I'll pause the video. And, um... Run back into town, sell all the loot that I picked up, buy some brown mushrooms that I forgot to buy, and then come back. I definitely need to stop just randomly running into the rooms. That's not good. Not the poison spider. Uh oh. That left him an opening. Yeah, another plate set. The, uh, next steel helmet I get. There we go. You know, I know it's just me, uh, and this isn't actually, like, accurate, but, uh, you know, when people talk about, like, sets, you know, crown set, crown helmet, crown armor, crown legs, crown shield, and I guess crown backpack, if you want to get technical. I've always considered the Dwarven shield to be part of the plate set. It kind of has the same, like, the correct look. Why did I just, uh, Xanapox myself there? It kind of has the right look, I think. And it's the thing you always wear. Like, you, the, I mean, I don't know who uses plate sets anymore, to be fair, but it was always, you know, the plate set was like the noob set. You get your plate armor, your plate legs. All right, I gotta figure out what I'm throwing on the floor for that other knight armor. Your plate armor, your plate legs, and um, your Dwarven shield. It's what everybody got at the beginning. Because nobody could afford the other things that were better. Like, um, I mean, I guess noble armor would be the next step up, but that wasn't really that much better in the first place. Um, A weak hit. Tarantula egg. Alright. See? Up. I gotta keep my backpacks organized. There's nothing worse than a disorganized backpack. There we go. Anybody down here? See, I don't know. I just I always considered the Dwarven uh, shield to be part of the plate set. Along with the steel helmet. Of course. Even though they have different names. Because the the plate, the actual plate shield doesn't look anything at all like Play-Doh. I mean, you know, it's like orange. Uh, plus, it's also something you can get on Rook Guard. Like, it doesn't make sense. And on top of that, you've got your, uh, the, the actual Dwarven set all has the physical resistance stuff. And is vastly more expensive, rarer, and harder to get, and better than an actual Dwarven Shield. So, I know it's not, like, factually correct, but it's how I look at things. And I like the way that I look at things. Ooh, Mr. Giant Spider-Man. You know, I like, I've mentioned this before about how, like, giant spiders were always the, uh, the monster of death. I'd be like, oh no, a giant spider, it's gonna kill me. Or, at least, at the very least, killing a giant spider was, like, a huge ordeal. And it's kind of like a, it's almost, like, surreal to be hunting, uh, giant spiders while basically not even paying attention to what I'm doing. Like, right now, I took my hand off the mouse. <laughs> I'm scratching my head. <laughs> I'm just playing with my left hand. I'm right-handed, by the way, too, on top of all that. And, uh, yeah, after I clicked on its name, I just I did that whole fight uh, one-handed. Um, here, right, I'll, I'll kill the entire next one with uh, my, my right hand is completely off the keyboard right now.
I didn't even uh, I didn't even click with the mouse. I used my gamepad to click with my uh, my other hand. Let's see. Can I go kill another one? I can't loot without my uh, my hand on the keyboard, or with my uh, my hand on the mouse. But I can kill without my hand on the mouse. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. There we go. So yeah, they're they're no longer the like paragons of death and destruction that they used to be. Uh and for a while I considered it was because just because like, I'm a paladin. Um as a mage, you know, you're like frail. But uh, I'm a little bit more durable and I'm able to engage them at like maximum range, at least with a war singer bow. Might be different if I was using, like, spears or something like that. Oh, hey. I didn't realize I couldn't step in that square right there. And I was trying to move to the right. But, uh... So, yeah, I was kind of like, oh, it's just because, like, paladins are particularly good at killing giant spiders. Now, to be fair, I think paladins are pretty good at killing giant spiders. Just inherently. But... I do kill giant spiders basically with ease on my Night Dow Dow, too. And I've been killing them since, like, level 40. So it's not really that impressive of a feat. Uh, get the other... I don't want to waste an arrow on him if I can avoid it. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> I got a silk. Nice. Hey, this hunt was pretty profitable. I'm actually looking forward to coming back. Oh, that was all nonsense there with me trying so hard not to waste an arrow on that one. I should have just, you know, fought him correctly. But whatever. Whatevs. Ah, I keep forgetting I can't go down there. I'm falling apart now. This, uh, the center area is no good. No good on the center area. I'm thinking about uh, going to the Hero Fortress at least soonish. Maybe not right away, but soonish. Looks like a pretty good spot. I'll see how I do there. I've never had a lot of luck with hunting heroes, though. They they drop some like good stuff, but they just never drop it for me. Can't carry that. Take that though. On a side note, I still haven't used any potions. Or ultimate healing runes that I'm just carrying around just in case. Well, I'm carrying around because I happen to have them, and what else would I'm going to do with them? I guess I am using a life ring, but whatever. Technicalities. At least giant spiders don't heal. So the fact that this one hasted and got closer to me, and I had to switch from the other one that I was already targeting, isn't a huge deal. I'm going to have to start throwing gold on the floor. That's going to make my, my soul hurt. Now where's Mr. Injured uh, Giant Spider? There he is. Now he's even more injured. And now he's dead. Oh, Jesus. Uh, just throw the gold on the floor. Whatever. Whatever. Don't care. I do kind of wish that there weren't tarantulas here in the first place, though. They're kind of, uh, just meh. Alright, plate shield. Well, I do appreciate that this little, um, giant lizard head, nothing is written on it, is uh, something I can run around in circles. Makes my life a little bit easier. Boop. -doop. Kill these last two. Oh, did I not go all the way down here earlier? I didn't. What happened? What happened? On a side note, this is uh, my first real hunt with my Master Archer's armor. I'm kind of excited about it. I'm not even going to bother with that spider. It's going to get in my way, probably. It's going to let a giant spider run up to me. 
And I'm going to regret my decision, but whatever. Still in boosted EXP stamina time, which is nice. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I remember, I don't know if other people do, but giant spiders used to be immune to fire. Way, way, way back when. You couldn't fireball them. And some vocations had particular difficulties. At certain levels, depending, yeah, depending, depending on what type of uh, wanted rod they had. You know, like um, druids at level nineteen to I guess what would it be twenty six. That sounds right. Wow, this place is a lot longer than I thought it was. Uh, druids from level like nineteen to twenty six would have the. Um, The fire wand, and they were immune to that. And uh, I'm pretty sure they're also immune to earth. So druids would go from a fire wand to a um, earth wand, and that would be no good. It was the volcan. I'm sorry, rods. The volcanic rod, and then it would be the quagmire rod, or yeah, quagmire rod. Um, and that was no good. They could get the uh, tempest rod, which was energy, at 33. Take this off now. Uh, and that was just as good, I suppose. But, yeah, you wouldn't really be able to do anything without that one. And then, um, let's see. <sighs> Crap. Too heavy for me to carry still. Uh, sorcerers would have... They had Wand of... What was it called? Wand of Plague, which was Earth Damage at 19. Um, then they got Wand of Cosmic Energy. They're, theirs largely stayed the same. They got Wand of Cosmic Energy at 20. 26. And they got Wand of Inferno at 33. Before that, they had um, the Dragon Breath Wand, and they had the... Uh, so here's the dead end. All right. The Wand of Vortex. So, yeah, it was only their level 19 wand that sucked. Just in general. Just in general, it sucked. Uh, but particularly bad against... Um, Giant Spiders. <laughs> it's also worth mentioning, though, that um, the level 19 wand was, and I would presume still is... The only one that you could kind of keep attacking monsters with, and the mana use rate was about the same as the mana regeneration rate of a sorcerer, at least a promoted one. Um, so you could uh, keep hunting pretty much consistently as long as you had food with a level 19 wand. Obviously the same for the lower ones too, but um, the higher ones you'd eventually run out and you'd either have to pause or drink potions. And that's assuming you're just wand hunting and not using spells. Of course. Which is what I always did. <laughs> always, always, always did. So the fact that the sorcerer's um, wand of plague was uh, poison damage and thus useless was uh, really unfortunate. It made it very hard to be a sorcerer. Whereas the, uh, the druids being fire damage was really nice. In fact, uh, at the time, the place I liked to hunt the most was... Um, Oh boy, where was it? Um, the Shadow Tomb in Anchorman. That was my favorite spot to hunt for the longest time. It was decent uh, EXP, decent money. The mummies give good money. Uh, there's a decent amount of Crypt Shamblers in there too, which are pretty good. There was a single vampire on the one floor that I could uh, kill while dreaming of uh, Vampire Shield. Never happened, by the way. Never happened. Um... And, I mean, ghosts aren't really a problem for a paladin in any sense, but uh, there wasn't a lot of ghosts, there wasn't a lot of stalkers, and the stalkers that were there, you knew, you could know where they were at pretty easily and easily avoid them. Uh, likewise, there was some fire devils and fire elementals, but you could also easily avoid those by just not going into the areas where they were at. So it was actually like a really nice tomb, so I hunted there pretty much exclusively. And uh, fire worked out really well there. I mean, obviously not on the fire devils and fire elementals, but uh, pretty much everything else, fire worked well. 
Unfortunately, the new system removed fire from the uh, the druid's repertoire entirely. So, actually, you know what? I think I'll just end the video here, probably. I think it's gone on long enough. I'm going to pause real quick, though, and pick a, pull up a loot pick. Can I get up there somehow? I don't really want to just leave myself hanging in the jungle. Exani... I'm going to spell it right. Exani her up. Nice. Alright, let me pause for a second. Alright, got my little loot pick thing up there. Uh, as you can see, everything's uh, loot pick priced uh, spider silks at 300 or 100 gold a pop. Um, I think they sell for about 5k on my server, so I manually tacked on uh, 14,700 <laughs> uh, gold coins. So experience was 86.3k, profit was 28k. It looks like not bad, not bad, I suppose. Uh, I also had to sort of guess on how many arrows I used, and I uh, forgot how many walls I used, so I just went with 10. But I know I didn't use any potions, and I suppose you can consider that half of a life ring as a negative. But anyway. Alright, folks. On that note, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Facebook and Patreon. There's links to those in the descriptions. Um, and also, tell me if you would be interested in seeing videos for uh, DDO. Because if I decide to do that, I'm going to have to download it, and that's probably going to be a hassle, and I probably need to subscribe to that one. The other games I already own, but I'd have to spend some money on uh, DDO. So yeah, give me a heads up. But I'm going for now.